It is an emotional and financial blow to some athletes at Ohio State. It could just be the beginning, too, as revenue sharing comes to college athletics. Ohio State is eliminating scholarships for men's gymnastics. Sports anchor Whitney Harding broke the story on First at Four. You've been talking with some more of your sources over the past hour. What more have you learned about it? Well, multiple sources are telling us that the Ohio State is eliminating the scholarships for its men's gymnastics teams. Important to note, though, it's eliminating scholarships, not cutting the program. That's an important distinction. But in the last hour, I have been able to confirm that gymnastics coaches have been reaching out to alums trying to get donations. Participation in men's gymnastics around the country has dropped rapidly in the last 20 years or so. In 19 81, there were 59 Division I men's programs, and now there are only 12. Now, we knew that this financial change at Ohio State would be a possibility. The NCAA rules are changing to allow universities to pay some athletes, but to do so and to have that money, the universities might be forced to make tough financial decisions impacting other programs. Ohio State's is a storied program. They have had seven gymnasts compete in the Olympics. Most recently, Alec Yoder in Tokyo. Three program coaches have been part of Olympic staffs. The Buckeyes have won three national championships. They've been runners up five times and they're 14 time Big Ten champions. Now, in the last 20 minutes, I've received a text message from one of the most storied alums of the program, Blaine Wilson, three-time Olympian, multi-time U.S. national champion. And he wrote to me that this could be the end of OSU gymnastics, men's gymnastics as a program. It would just be club gymnastics, which is very different. Mm -hmm. For a program that's been around forever, it's so sad. Mm -hmm. It so is very sad. Th the cause of this is, is the idea idea of revenue sharing and again just to, to vaguely explain what that is it's the idea that the universities will eventually be able to become their own collectives Correct. and pay the athletes directly but in order to make money in the budget to do that, they're having to make decisions right. like this. And this summer, Ross Bjork, the new athletic director at Ohio State, said that they had something called Project 36, where they were trying to keep all of the sports. Ohio State has the most yeah. in the country. We have reached out to Ohio State. We have not yet received a response or a statement from them. But he made it known this summer that this was not something he wanted to do. But as Jared said, it's changing financially for college athletics. Right. It certainly is changing. All right, Whitney, thank you so much.